What is up guys, welcome back to Lazy Skater. Today I'm going to share 10 things you skateboarders can do when it's raining. So this morning I woke up, it was pouring down with rain and I desperately wanted to go out and skate so I was really gutted about that. So I sat down instead and thought of 10 different things that I could do and then I thought I'd share those with you. So let's get straight into this one. Number one, the first and most obvious thing that you can do is either go to an indoor skate park instead or go to an indoor or covered street spot. So you may have a local skate park that you can go to which is relatively close by. You may have undercover street spots like multi-story car parks or certain buildings will offer protection for skate spots so they're definitely ones that you can visit while it's raining they're probably the two main options that you've got if you still definitely want to skate coming up quick at number two is to spend some time on google maps looking for street spots in your local area so this can be a really good way of finding spots we've got access to street views and all kinds of things now satellite imagery so it takes some time to explore your local town maybe on google maps on Google Earth and see if you can dig out any street spots. Then when the weather's better again, you might be able to go back to those spots and skate them and get some new tricks. So that's a really good way to use the time when it's too wet to skate outside. Tip number three, and this is a good one, is dig through all the footage that you've got on your phone and organize it. Maybe delete all the clips that you don't need anymore. Save the ones that you want to share on social media. And then what you could do is go ahead and make an edit. You could edit some of those videos together and make a clip to share online. You could make an edit to share on YouTube. Anything like that is really, really good. It's also a good way of clearing out all the memory on your phone so you're ready for the next session when you're able to go and skate again when the weather's a bit better. So that's a really good use of time when you can't get out and skate. Edit some footage, delete all the old footage that you don't need anymore, free up that space on your phone or on your camcorder. Then you're ready to go when the weather picks up and you can get outside again. Okay, another great thing that you can do is catch up on all the videos that have been released recently. Now, it's just insane how much footage goes online for skateboarding these days. Back in the day, you were having to wait for VHS tapes to come out in your local skate shops. Now you're just one click away from watching the latest part. For example, you could go on the Thrasher YouTube channel, all sorts of channels available that you can go on now and watch footage of skateboarding and watch new releases. So if you've been out skating loads, maybe you haven't had time to do that and catch up on all the latest uploads, that can help you get inspired for your next session as well. Okay, tip number five, and I think this is a really good use of time when it's raining outside. Spend some time researching new tricks that you want to learn. So if you've decided that, say, you want to learn backside flips, for example, maybe you could go onto YouTube and check out tutorials on there. Again, it's the same thing with this, guys. There's so much information out there available now for skateboarding tricks. When I was younger and learning to skateboard, I was literally having to wait for the next edition of Sidewalk Mag to come out. And I remember specifically, I learned how to pop shove it from one of those. And then the next time the next edition came out, it was frontside 5 on a mini. And that was just way out of my league. So I couldn't learn a trick that month. But now we've got so much information on the internet. So you might want to think about some tricks that you want to learn. Go onto the internet, have a look. Go on YouTube, look at tutorials. Tutorials are literally all over the place at the moment. So you can start learning the basics of how to get those tricks. And then when you go out and skate again, you can start working on those with loads of knowledge already instilled into you. So this can be an amazing use of time. You can start getting a head start on those tricks that you want to learn. And you may find some new tricks that you want to learn as well. Okay, tip number six. Now, this is a really good use of time as well. If you can't get out and skate because of the weather, then check out some of your local skate shops online and see if you can find if there's any sales. Spend some time looking on the internet because a lot of the time you can find sales on skate shops. And then what you can do is pick up some gear that you need for a low cost. So it could be shoes, it could be decks, trucks, wheels, anything. Check out if your skate shops online have got sales on and maybe you can pick up your next deck for a budget price. When you actually need a deck, that always seems to be when they're the most expensive. So it's good to buy and stock up when you can find cheap ones and then they're ready to go ready for when you want to skate again. Okay, another great use of time is to spend some time actually doing some exercise in the house to strengthen your body ready for skateboarding. Now there's loads of different exercises you can do just in the house. You could do press-ups, sit-ups to try and improve your core and your overall strength. You could do squats to help with your thighs, get those a little bit stronger. There's loads of different exercises that you can do which will directly help you with skateboarding and help you get better at skateboarding. You could also work on your flexibility as well. Flexibility is a huge part of skateboarding so you could spend some time doing some stretching, doing some research into what stretches are good for skateboarding, that kind of thing. Maybe that's a video I could do in the future but those things are definitely going to be a good use of your time and if you can put the time in doing this on a regular basis you're definitely going to see improvements in your skateboarding as well. Okay, another one, and I think this gets overlooked so much, but when it's raining outside and you can't get out to skate, a good idea is to do some maintenance on your skateboard. So maybe you can just do a quick once over, clean off any loose debris that's been caught up, any dust, give your grip tape a bit of a clean if you've got the tools to do that. 
Maybe you could check your bearings and give them a bit of lubrication. Make sure all the bolts on your skateboard are all tightened up and ready to go. I think this is something that skaters don't tend to do very much and as a result your skateboard can get wear and tear a lot easier. So it's a really good opportunity when it's raining outside and you can't get out to skate to have a look at this. Have a quick scan over your board and just check everything's all right and then next time you go out you know your board's going to be completely safe to ride for one which is obviously very important and it's going to run the best that it possibly can as well so definitely worth spending some time doing that okay the next one that i want to mention is a step into the old school but it's to catch up on all those magazines that you've got on the shelf which you haven't had a proper look through yet so a lot of times when i buy new skate stuff they come with free magazines here in the uk we usually get free skate magazine and one called vague as well I've also just had a brand new magazine which I've never seen before called North when I bought uh, an item which I'm going to be sharing with you guys very soon. So that's something that I could do is go ahead and catch up on all those, give those a read and see what's going on in the skate community at this time. These mags are great for articles and photographs. You can read some really interesting articles in those. So I'm looking forward to sitting down today actually now that the weather's bad and skimming through those and seeing what I can find. Okay, so point number 10, last but by no means least, is just to take a break from skateboarding altogether. Sometimes it's just good to get your head out of that space and get yourself doing something else completely differently. You could pick up another hobby. If you've got other hobbies, you could concentrate on those for a bit. You could just get completely out of the skate game while the weather's bad. And then when you go back to skating again, you're going to have that excitement and that freshness that you want to skate. So that's going to really help you to have a good session when you go back into it. I always think it's good to have a bit of space now and again away from skateboarding just to collect your thoughts and think about what you're going to work on next, etc. So maybe that's something you can try the next time there's some bad weather in your area as well. So we've made it this far, guys. I really hope that these tips are things that you can do when the weather is bad in your local area. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found this stuff useful. And on that topic, if you want to check out my progress videos, I've got one here and I've got one here, or you can smash this button in the middle to subscribe as well. I'll see you all again in another video very soon, guys. Peace.